What's up, guys? Yeah. Jalen, what's your uh, reaction to being picked seventh in the ACC? Uh, not a not a good feeling, <laughs> but you know, like Coach said, is is we we can feel one way about it, you know, but we're gonna go do something about that. Um, we're gonna show the country why. We're we're one of the best teams in the country, but you know, grateful that you know for the program, it's it's the best it's been in the last couple of years. So grateful for that, but you know, it's it's still fuel to the fire. Damien said when he first got here, you guys talked a little bit about what it meant to be, what it felt like to be left out of the NCAA tournament last year. How much do you guys still think about that, and how much do you try to flush it and move on? I mean, I hope guys think about it a lot. I mean, it's not going to be on the front of our minds or anything like that, but you know, it's it's something that that just is also like a fuel for you. Like you don't want to have that feeling again. I'm a, I'm a guy, I'm a, I'm a kid who watched college basketball growing up watching a tournament. Like I want to play in that. And to not be able to pick in that when I thought we were very deserving, it hurts. So we're gonna use that as fuel for sure because you, you don't want to feel that feeling again. Jalen, you, you've had a year to prepare after going through a year of college. What was different in your preparation, and how do you feel like your game has evolved? You know, I just feel more comfortable out there. Um, my guys and my coaches that put me in a position where I know what I need to do to help this team to, in order to win. So I just feel more comfortable overall, just where my game is at, how, how I'm supposed to fit on the floor, how I'm supposed to impact winning. How has your leadership skills evolved over the past year now that the play is gone? I mean, I hope, uh, you got to ask the other guys, I hope it's been a little bit better. Um, try to be more vocal, try to be more active with the guys. You know, just be more interactive with everybody and try, to, try and pick up, pick, up the, uh, pick up where Blake left off, where Bub left off a little bit. So, you know, those are, those are two guys that we miss a lot that held a heavy presence for us. But, you know, me and Ish have tried to try and carry that torch now to be able to lead our guys. And that's one aspect uh, I've been trying to work on this whole summer. Obviously, last year, you had a big second half of the season, but were you ever like 100% healthy and now are you? Uh, I am now. Last season, it probably took me about 75% way through the season to feel pretty, pretty good. But um, I was good enough coming back from Christmas break. All I needed was to go see my, my family real quick and my dad, get my dad on me real quick. And you know, somehow my body started feeling better. <laughs> Jalen, you saw last year with the, with Ish coming in. How has Damian kind of fit in, and what, what's he going to bring, you feel, to this team? Man, Damian's a hard-nosed guy. Um, plays both sides of the ball. I'm super excited for everybody to see him this year, just for him to rock out, because he, he can do it all. He passes the ball at a high level. He's a lot bigger than other guards. He can see over other guards. He can guard basically one through four on, a, on any given night, um, just how, how, how strong he is. And he can handle the ball, he can pass, he can shoot at a high level. So, you know, that's a guy that we're gonna rely on a lot this season and he's gonna be he's gonna he's gonna help us a lot for sure. There's a right a lot of responsibility on you and it's your shoulders, uh, not only just to score because those two other guys are gone, but to actually uh, make sure that the culture is right here. Is that a lot of do you you welcome that responsibility? Yeah, for sure, but I don't think it's too hard just because of the to the guys that coach has put around us, you know. Like somebody asked me the other day, like is the locker room any different? I don't think so. It's still hilarious. Everybody's smiling, jumping around, dancing in the locker room every day. Like it's just a bunch of guys who just love being around each other. So it doesn't make our jobs too hard. Mm -hmm. We just got to worry about that basketball court really. Cause off the court, it's just, it's just a bunch of kids just hanging out all the time, having fun on that court. It's just, you know, it's, it's game time. Some of these guys don't understand um, what we felt last season. Um, some guys are coming from different teams, so we're trying to mesh well on the court together, and I think we've been doing a pretty good job of that. You and Bob weren't five stars, and neither was Viva. Do you kind of see yourself, like how he's competing as a freshman right now, like that was you a year ago? Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, it just, Coach does a great job of recruiting guys who, I just recruiting in general, but to get a guy like Viva, who's hard nosed, gritty, can score, it's, it helps a lot because, you know, we're overlooked and to be overlooked isn't a good feeling. So coach did a good job of getting Biba. So he's going to come out here and prove why he shouldn't have been overlooked. And we need a guy like that. How well do you 
do you guys as the guards, like you, Damian, Biba, Ish, how well do you guys think you mesh together or have come together kind of throughout the offseason? I think we me mesh together really well. All our games bounce off each other. Like, it's just a whole different aspect. We all bring a different kind of swag to the table, and that's that's what we need. And we all know each other's strengths and weaknesses, and we're to put each other in situations like that. So I say we're doing a pretty good job, and we feel comfortable with each other. We saw you on the court today with Cam and Guillermo at the same time. I uh, didn't see a lot of Guillermo with another big last year. Um, what benefits does that you know pose to you when you're the point guard running the offense when you have two I mean bigs and at the same time it it helps a lot it benefits me and our team in a, in a huge way because Guillermo probably one of the best shooters I know um, and then you got a guy like Cam who can stretch the floor also but having two big guys like that on the court at any given time just helps with our overall defense offense and however however way we, we need it so you know having g at the four definitely gives us a, a good look a new look um and we're happy with it i'm enjoying it how do you think it, it, it how do you think it has improved this off season what have you seen from him that's been surprising i guess improvement his leadership um his leadership has grown a lot he was more of a just go out there and show guys uh type of guy last year this guy this year he's a little bit more vocal so love that and then his game has just grown overall you know um his he's still the same downhill guy that can get a bucket any time but his shot's gone a lot better you gotta you gotta step up on him he'll shoot shots off the dribble and then same thing defensive wise he's one of those guys that you don't want to go against on every night or every day in practice because you know he's going to get after you so you know his game is keep is has evolved and you know that's just a testimony to his work I think Coach Gable said over the summer that you knew Cam before he like, yeah. before he got to college. I think you guys like grew up around each other. What I mean, how's he different? What was he like when you when you first met? So me and Cam played on the same AAU team with the Houston Hoops when I was a uh, sixteen. Uh, he was playing. I played up on seven teams. He was on that team. He's still the same guy. He's still like he's still quiet but funny, and you know he'll he'll be loud when he needs to, but. He's the same guy that, that I was with in high school and to, you know, be back connected with him and feel like, you know, you've had a connection with a guy like that and play with somebody before before we got here. It just it brings a lot of comfortability and uh, that shows on the court a lot because we can get on each other about certain things. Like I yelled at him the other day in practice and I said, bro, like this is what you came here for. You told me this is what you want to come here for. So go do it. And it just, it's that comfortable sense where you can talk to a guy like that because you're comfortable with each other, you know how to talk to each other and things like that. So I'm happy, I'm really happy Cam's here and it's gonna be a great, it's gonna be a great look for us this year. I'm curious about your, your layup style where you sort of carry the ball like it's a food on a tray, you just sort of lift it. And it. <laughs> where, did, where did that come from? How long have you been doing it that way? My, probably my whole life, just yeah. being a little guard, little lefty guard, gotta, gotta finish a layup somehow. Um, my dad and my godfather kind of just, you know, just worked out with me. And I guess that's just something I've carried over through my whole basketball career. Yeah, I've never seen you get it blocked, though. You know, I, I, oh, no, I've gotten the block a couple <laughs> times. <laughs> Definitely in practice, you know, the guys are catching on a little bit more. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's something that I work on a lot. So mm -hmm. I pull it out when I need to. We just talked to Papa, and he seems like a very interesting person. I mean, what, what's it been like to just kind of watch his journey back to help? I'm so happy for Pop. You know, I I didn't know how how his injury would affect him mentally and I'm he came every day to the facility with a smile on his face and attacked that injury head on. I'm so happy for that guy and I'm so happy that he's back out on this court enjoying every second of it. And I had to welcome back Pop by talking some smack to him first week back into practice and I love it cuz that guy's a hard-nosed competitor. He's going to go out there and give it his all every single night and he's going to come out after the game with a smile on his face all bubbly afterwards so you know i'm happy for that guy what impact does that type of attitude have on a team you know it's just it rubs off because it's like if you can see another guy going through adversity and he's still here every day with a smile on his face that tells you a lot just about who he is how this team is supposed to look like just the culture of everything so you know, being able to see a guy like that go through an injury like that and still keep a smile on his face, it means everything. When, we, when you guys knew that the Bubbles were going to the NBA draft and Blake was moving on, did Coach sit down with you guys, you and Ish maybe, and say, this is your team now? 
I mean, no, nah, not really. He was just like, he kind of, he, he kind of just said like, y'all know what to do. I trust y'all. Y'all go handle it. Because mm -hmm. not much has to be said to me and this because I think we're two pretty smart guys and we understand what, what is going on and what happened. So knowing those that those guys left, we knew we had to pick it up more. And he hasn't been hard pressed or had to say anything too much about it. We just, we just kind of figure it out and just go from there. Bubs got his NBA debut coming up this next week. I think it's on Thursday. Yep. You guys planning to go or watch it together here? I wanted to, but I don't know if we'll be able to catch it. We're looking at. We've looked at their schedule. We went, we had a Facetime call where we it was like me, Zach, Bub, and Marlon, and we went through their whole schedule. <laughs> and we're gonna try and find a find a way to get to a game this year, but um, it's gonna be a little tough, but. We're definitely going to try and try and get to one for sure. What's it like to see him, Justin, and Mo Gi now all in the Wizards? That's super exciting. That's crazy to have three pick guys on the same team. Um, but I mean, it's just cool to watch. You know, guys that you've been around that that come here and show their face every now and then. It's just super cool because they're living out their dreams, but they're all still on the same team. So it's super cool. How would you grade? I think. Blake was singing the song in front of the original. <laughs> so what, what, what's the grade on that? I give it an A plus because that was a great song choice. Taylor Swift, I love it, Blake. <laughs> there any games you're looking forward to this season, other non-conference or ACC that you got like you know hi highlighted on your calendar? Every single game, every single one we want to play like it's a championship game because uh, nobody really, nobody really gave us the credit they did last year. So we got to go prove it every single night.